eat. I'm not going to uh, 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 fornicate. I I'm not going to do anything that God has spoken out against that Christians don't do. Amen. So I, I, I do this by a form of personal discipline through a committed life by suffering whatever it takes. In other words, all that I seemingly miss in the worldly uh, pleasures, I receive it in the spiritual understanding that God has promised me life eternal. Now you know you can't beat that life eternal. All of us one day are going to lay down and die. All of us. Unless the rapture comes. Alright? So, if I suffer in this life that soon will come to an end, what advantage have I if I suffer with Christ? Well, the advantage I have, God promised that if I can bear my cross, yes. hallelujah, if I don't faint in my heart, if I don't, one scripture says, if I don't get weary, hallelujah, which means I don't get so discouraged I'm going to give up and quit. Amen. Yes. If I can just hold on to the end, hallelujah, then I can receive my reward. Now again, Paul is lining up all of this to try to let you know that in this uh, earthly journey, we have not uh, completed all of the facets of the requirements of God in the context I'm still in this earthly journey. I'm still going through the wilderness test, if you will. Amen. And as long as I, and I'm going to stay in the wilderness test until the trumpet sounds or until God calls me home. Amen. Amen? All right, so as long as I can do it without murmuring, without complaining, yes. without being, with, with, with being committed and dedicated, then I can overcome everything that the enemy brings against me. Now, I say this in this context. God will never tell you to do something that he knows you can't do. Amen. If God tells you to live a holy life, he means that through his spirit, you can live a holy life. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. So, uh, you have to understand the importance of being committed to this life by a spiritual walk with the Lord and the spirit man as I've told you often and many times the spirit man always dominates the carnal you yes. though we walk in the flesh spirit and flesh together in the individual body nevertheless I'm going to lean on the spirit to guide me and not the flesh Amen. I tried the flesh and found out that the flesh is a liar. Amen. Amen. It'll promise you things that it can't fulfill. Yes. Hallelujah. But Jesus never made a promise that he can't fulfill. Amen. All right. So we have to understand that the victory only comes by transcending from the flesh to the spirituality of godliness. Now Paul said, I haven't attained yet. Let's take note now uh, in verse 12 again. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after that, follow after it that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Now, now here, you've got to understand, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, which means perfected, but I follow after. Notice, he's saying I haven't reached this goal but I'm still following yeah. after what the word of God that is sooner or later or eventually will bring you into this perfected state. Now this don't mean that he, he's backsliding every other day. No, don't misunderstand what he's saying here. Amen. What he's saying that I'm still in the earthly body and I still have the same desires, same temptations. They're still there, but I'm still following Amen. after God. Amen. How, through the word of God. Hallelujah. Now, don't, don't let the devil try to trick you and make you think that you, well, I can go ahead and mess up because Paul said, I'm not perfected yet. No, Amen. you got Preach to understand. That. you got Preach to really divide this. Yes. He, he ends this by saying, I haven't received perfection. None of us have. But nevertheless, I'm still following Amen. according to the statutes, yes. to the instructions, to the doctrine. All right, read. I pressed... Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Now notice, I count not myself to have apprehended, 
But the one thing I do, yes. forgetting those things which are what? Behind. I'm not going to look back at the past. Yes. Now what he's saying, I can't go back into that past life. I can't go back to smoking, Amen. to drinking. Amen. Amen. To uh, chasing after this one and chasing after that one. I, I can't do that no more. Well, that's all in the past. Yes. I'm a new creation now in Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, the man called me today been watching the telecast for he said for a couple of weeks and he wants to come to the church he said I got a habit he said uh, I smoke I said well you come up here and I want you to bring a pack of cigarettes with you and when you leave here you won't smoke no more he said what I said oh yes it, it happens it, it worked with us hey man if it worked with us it'll work with you yes, yes. praise God so he, he wants to come Sunday hey amen and uh I'm going to give Elder Ricky his address. And he seemed like he's sincere, but we'll find out if he's sincere or not. Amen. Amen. One thing's for certain. You can overcome every obstacle that the devil places against you if you have a life that's for real, that's sincere in serving God. Most of Christianity is duped because one thing they've been lied to for so long. And then when someone comes with divine truth, it hits them so hard, they don't want to accept divine truth. But one thing is for certain, the Bible is either right or the Bible is wrong. And if the Bible is right and God won't compromise his word, hallelujah, he said, my word has gone forth and will not come back in, uh, how's that, void? In other words, it's not going to come back without fulfilling the responsibility of the word. So once we understand this, then, brothers and sisters, ain't nothing for us to do but line up with the word. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Verse 14, I press. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Now, notice he's talking about a mental aspect here. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Amen. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, in other words, if we are not in the same agreement yes. with the scriptures, sooner or later, God's going to reveal that. Amen. Is that right? Amen. All right, verse 16. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us walk by the same rule, the same Bible, yes. the same word of God, the same doctrine. No Baptist, no Methodist, no Catholic, no Church of God in Christ. No, we all going to walk by the same instruction. Head covering is for the sisterhood today. And it will be for the sisterhood in all churches. Until Jesus comes back. Praise God. So, we can't divide up God. Yeah. Well, we all going to the same heaven. You, you, you do your thing and the Baptists do their thing and... And uh, Seventh-day Adventists do their thing, but we all serve the same God. No, we're not all serving the same God. We serve the same God by being in one agreement, one agreement yes. with the Word. Because God's intent or purpose for His people is through His Word. And this is why Paul said that we be of one accord, that we be in agreement. Amen. Speak the same thing. There's no division. In the church of God. The division comes by man who's trying to divide God through not properly interpreting his word. Uh, now, some have told me about uh, the Passover. Do you keep the Passover? Well, yes, we keep the Passover, but not in the context in which some churches uh, call the Passover. Amen. Now, Sometimes I have, and God corrected me uh, yesterday and today while I was studying. I've said, well, if you want to keep the Passover as such, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. But then God explained to me his instructions in the book of Hebrews. Let's turn to Hebrews, the 10th chapter again. And let's start right from... Uh, verse 1. Now keep in mind, Revelation 22nd chapter, we're not to add on and we're not to take away. Now hear me, hear me close here. Anything 
that is of the law.